Now when you want to use a package for your project and if the package makes sense only for that specific project, you can install the package locally in that project folder. And the command to install a package locally is npm install followed by the command name. For example, let's consider this npm folder as our project folder and we want to install a package locally within this folder. For that, open command prompt in that particular folder and run the command npm install followed by the package name. The package we are going to be installing is moment which is basically a JavaScript date library and this is purely for an example you can install any package you wish to. Now when I run npm install moment it is going to take a couple of seconds and then create a particular folder called node modules in our project folder and within this folder we are going to find the package we installed and that is moment. Now if you install more packages all those packages are going to be created in this node modules folder. But if you have a look at our package.json file, there is no corresponding entry for that package. And I did mention that package.json file is going to help track our project dependencies or what are the packages that our project depends on. And right now we don't see moment. Now to save the package as a dependency in your package.json file, you need to use the dash dash save flag. So I'm going to go back to npm folder and remove this node modules folder so that you don't get confused. And I'm going to type npm install moment and then just add the dash dash save flag. Now when I run this, it is going to do the exact same thing. It's going to create a node modules folder and within that moment, but this time, it's also going to create an entry saying dependencies and then it is going to say the package name, so which is moment, and the version we have installed. So we have a dependency on the moment library. So that is what it means. <coughs> Excuse me. And if you want to install packages just for development purpose and not production, then you can make use of the dash dev flag. Now let's go back over to our command prompt and npm install install now generally you might want to make use of something like a testing package such as mocha or karma as your dev dependencies but they're pretty large and for just for example i'm going to make use of lodash package and npm install lodash dash dash save dash dev so what we mean to say is that this is just a development dependency package and this really isn't required for production. So when I run npm install lodash dash dash save dash dev, it's going to create within known modules a package for lodash. So I'm going to wait for this to complete. And there you go. We have the package for lodash. But if you have a look at the package.json file, it's going to create a different dependency, something called as dev dependency. And again, it's going to specify the package name and the version that our project is using. So Lodash is a dev, dependent, dev dependency and Moment is a production dependencies. And that is how you install dependencies and dev dependencies for your projects.